Good morning, dear students at the first stage English department, College of Arts, Helvet University. Today is our second session entitled I've Got a Pain in My Arm. We are talking about Unit 6, and in Unit 6, we are going to explain what's wrong with us if we are suffering from something and uh, reacting to something by showing concern and relief. So the first thing is to explain what is wrong. There are three ways, or maybe more of course, to explain what is wrong with me. I can say I've got a pain in my... You see these words between the two brackets? The flu? No. I got a pain in my arm. Mumkin. I've got a pain in my head. Awkward. Mumkin. I've got a pain in my stress. No. But I've got a pain in my should be some body organ. For example, in my hand, in my shoulder, in my throat, in my fingers, in my bones. Okay. So these are where pain may be found. ممكن أيضا أستخدم أو I also can use I think I am suffering from ممكن هنا suffering يكون from a disease or an illness or a sickness something like the flu uh, something like stress something like headache something like sore throat some of them are between the brackets some of them are not I can also say my something aches for example, my head, my eyes, my hand, etc. So also somebody, organ. Now, if you see this picture with these uh, six figures, each one of them is suffering from something, right? So the first one is wrapped up in blankets with a fever thermometer in her mouth you see her forehead is some kind turning red somehow turning red so I think I'm cold right? she's cold I think I'm suffering from fever you see number two the man with a cup with a runny nose I think I'm suffering from the flu I think I'm coming down with the flu, etc. The third figure, a woman in a red dress, she is suffering from a headache. I have a headache, I'm suffering from a headache, I have a terrible headache, etc. The fourth one is uh, obviously have a back pain. So he can say, for example, uh, I have a back pain or my back aches, etc. The fifth figure is also with a cup of tea. You see, you can notice the tea bag. Uh, you can notice that he's carrying some tablets, something to um, have as a medicine, etc. So we can also say that he is suffering of run the flu or he has some something wrong with him the last figure is a, a girl she puts her hands on her stomach it is appearing that she has something wrong my stomach aches I have a terrible pain in my stomach okay now if all these sentences were uttered we must uh, react to these sentences. لازم نتفاعل وياهم. Okay. To react or to uh, is by showing concern or relief. طبعاً concern if something is good uh, is bad. Sorry. And relief الارتياح if something is good. If I say, for example, I. I'm going down with the flu. Mom could go really thank goodness for that and show relief. No, yani this would be impolite. 
You should show concern, if in, even if you're not. You should show concern. لازم تب تبدي باهتمام. ممكن تب for example you could say, oh no, that's terrible. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But if I say something good, for example, uh, I'm I'm good now, or there is nothing wrong with me, or I have no pain, etc. You can show relief. تعبر عن الارتياح شلون يكون ممكن نقول thank goodness for that oh well that's good news or ممكن نقول what a relief all these expressions to show concern and relief are found on page 33 real listening and speaking on page 33 as I said and they are on exercise 3 you can listen to recording 49 it has eight statements to ex and you should express concern and relief. I have wrote some of them that we shall discuss. The first one is my blood pressure is very high. You should show concern. Why? Because I'm, I'm saying something bad, right? My blood pressure, vote of them, and it should be very high. So you should pay attention you should show me your cons you are concerned so you should say for example um, I'm sorry to hear that oh what a news hope you're okay oh really how awful etc number two don't worry my blood pressure is not high so this is what this is a good news you should pay you should show concern or relief you should show con relief so or you should be relieved mom can go what a relief mom can go we can say oh thank goodness it's number three my asthma has almost completely gone so this is what this is a good news good news means what relief I can say what a relief thank goodness um, really thank goodness for that etc okay the next one we both got very bad sunburn and holiday you all know what a sunburn is so it is what bad so you should show concern really how awful um, can go on. Really? That's too bad. Really? I'm sorry, etc. I hope you're doing okay. All these expressions you can use to show concern. The last one is I have finally gotten over with my insomnia. This is what this is good news, and you should pay. I found we should show relief. This is for you. You should answer it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, Assistant Lecturer Hadar Mahmoud.